Hey everybody, welcome to Hills and Gales. And as you've seen right here, we're pouring some jig heads. We're pouring them from 132nd up to a quarter ounce. Got Barry right here with me. Hey it's his lead pop. We've done some work on it, put some new parts in it, put a new handle on it, and got it going and stuff. And you can see right over where he's poured a bunch so far, he's poured a hundred. A while ago, we're using number one hooks, and he poured like the straight shank hooks, and what I'm gonna be pouring is what I call the sickle hook right here. We'll show you a little bit in a minute how we pour them, and how I do the aspirin head type uh, when I'm doing I've got a piece of AR500 shooting steel over there, as you can see, boom. And I'll just take a flat hammer, smack them a couple times, and then they're ready to go, ready to paint, ready to put eyes on, whatever. So, uh, yeah, we'll show you how we pour here in a second, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, like I said, we're just using number one hooks. This is Barry's new mold. We took, took a candle and we smoked it up. Then you want to lay it on your pot uh, while your uh, lead is melting. And to keep this hot right here, it makes it a better pour, easier to get them out. We're both doing like from a quarter an eighth, a one sixteenth, and one thirty second. But it says it gives you the hook size, but you can pull them with number one hook. You won't have no problem. And with a sickle hook, as I call it, instead of a long strength uh, shank, just a regular hook, I'm gonna have to do the one and thirty second uh, by itself. That's the reason I got a bunch of hooks laying here, because the way the bend is in the hook, they overlap each other. So all you do is just take it, I'll pour one right here real fast. This is a great hobby to get into. Uh, to me, it's a good way to save money. I'll get 100 hooks for like seven bucks at my local tackle store. Then you can go to a garage and get lead weights if you'd like to do it that way instead of ordering lead. And then you can go ahead and start pouring your own jigs and powder coating them or using fingernail polish. And then when I get them in like this, I like hearing that click. When you hear that smack, if you don't hear a smack, you hear like a dull click, you know that one of them's offset. But when you hear that smacking together, you're ready to pour. And then just take your time. Pour one, pour two, pour three. You can see how it sinks in right there on top of it. That shows that it went down in there good. And then you've got yourself some walleye jigs, crappie jigs, small mouth, and we're throwing them out. And right there you go. You've got some nice jigs. I'll pour one thirty second real fast on uh, by itself here just to show you what they look like. There we go. And there is a one and thirty second, like a Popeye jig head, as we call them, on a number one sickle hook. Gotta be good, like tying a hair, a jig, and stuff. All right, guys, basically all you do, uh, you know, take this uh, sprue off, just take your pair of plain pliers, and you grab a hold of it, and you just, you gently rock that head back and forth. It just breaks off. And they, you might have to do a little bit of filing, but not much. I just take my finger and I grip it and I just gently rock. Look there that. you go, that's a smooth one. It comes right off, no problem. And next we'll be showing you how we do the aspirin part of it to make them flat and like if you want to put a 3D eye on them and stuff. Uh, so we'll be showing you that just in a second. Okay guys, right here's what the finished product will look like. If you can see it there, flattened, compared to just a regular jig head. I'm going to show you how we do it. Make sure you still smooth. Make sure that your hammer head is smooth. Don't have no 
I like uh, grooves to it or nothing like that. My jig head, I slay it down on it, even it up. Pin it to the size that I want. And right there it is. And head, you can put 3D eyes on it, you can put the paint eyes on it, whatever you like to do there. Now we're getting ready to color them. We'll show you how we color them now. Right here's what they look like. We've got two coats of the white with hardener in it. Uh, every color that I use, 99.9% uh, .9 is LA color. And the number will be right up here. When you get it with a sticker on it up here, it's got the hardener in it, just like this. And all my colors, except very few, like this one, it's got the, just the yellow plain top on it. Uh, they don't have the hardener in it, but most of them does, like this, bam. And I put two coats of white on, and then when we get done getting the colors done on them, what we want, two-tone on them, uh, solid colors, we're going to be using uh, Sally Henson Artie's Nails. But right here's all the different jig heads that we poured, painted, like you seen. Here's all the variety of different colors. Barry is sorting his and out right now that he's going to be painting. There's my box I carry all my fingernail polish in. And also, I know that there is people out there saying, you know, uh, powder dip them or give them a bath and bake them and all that stuff. I get that. I totally do. I've done that in the past myself. Done it in videos uh, using powder coat. But I go this way because Oliver Rivers, lakes, chunk rock, wood, drifts from floods and stuff, and you lose a lot of jig heads. We, when we lose them, we just pour them, make more. And I've got a variety of different colors. All them colors right there, that was a dollar a bottle. I could mix matching colors go out fishing and be done with it. So I tell people that wants to use uh, powder coating, you be you, I be me, you have fun doing what you do, I have fun doing what I'm doing. But we're getting ready to paint some and uh, we'll show you how we do it here. Is I like putting a black on, just like this right here. I've got a white undercoat, then I got a black, and then I will take a blue, a clear blue, with metal flake uh, polish. You can see right here. And then I'll just put a coat over it and it pops that blue metal flake out on that uh, black coating of that fingernail polish and it gives it an awesome look. But right there is what you kinda got. You can just see how that blue comes out and then same way, black first, and then the purple clear coat, purple with the uh, purple metal flake in it. And right here is the clear, just the silver metal flake. I'll show you what that looks like when I get done with it here. Right there is the clear. And this is the aspirin type that I'm doing right here right now. Add some 3D eyes to this. Really looks good. On the Sally right here, the uh, heart is nail. Right here you can pick up like at Family Dollar, Dollar Store, if you got one of them around, which everybody should have a dollar store. Uh, Walmart, I think, may have it. A, a little bit of this goes a long ways, like when I get my jig head painted. I'll just put that final coat on but just like it right there, it gives it a good glossy color. And, uh, well, not a glossy color, but it gives it a good glossy finish. And uh, like I said, a little bit of this goes a long ways. I've painted like 30 jig heads so far, and that's all I've used out of it right there. Pretty neat stuff. And we're moving on down the line. We got done painting all of our jig heads. Right here's where I hung them out when I finished putting that clear coat on them. And like I say, use your imagination. I mean, if you're not powder dipping, that is more power to you, you go for it. 
but we go through a lot of jig heads, like I said, when we fish eastern Tennessee and all the lakes and rivers here in Kentucky. And, you know, I've done some, like, just pink and white, like, you know, good for crappie, uh, chartreuse and orange, maybe do, like, a starburst. And then I've got some black and uh, red, uh, maybe blue and white. Look, that's like a, a blotched out red and black. And I'm chopping that little collar off right there. I've got some plans, like I said, I'm going to be getting rid of the collars off of them. I got some brownish copper colors, some more baby blue and white, like in an eighth ounce. Got that black with that metal flake, uh, purple metal flake in it. Is a black with a clear blue metal flake. I mean, just we've got a variety of colors uh, that we worked on tonight. Uh, we have painted 200 jig heads. Uh, here's a lot of berries for like uh, uh, smallmouth, walleye, and he, here's some more. He's got a bunch unfinished that he's going to be painting coming up here for like crappie, crappie. and brown. Mm -hmm. As we painted them, when we once got them painted, clear coated, then we just moved them, took a little string rope, hung them, and then just hung them out, let them cure. That way we could just cycle right through and keep them going, keep the product line going and then I have got some 3D eyes. I've got like 1274 in here so I hope you stay tuned this winter. We're going to be doing some jig giveaways. Uh, we're going to be showing some soft plastics. All kinds of good stuff coming up this winter so hope you subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and follow us over on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Barry, tell me something later brother. See you later, guys. Yep, and guys, take it easy. Be careful out there on the water and many tight lines. Have a good one.